multi-operator retargeting. Recently, several content-aware retargeting methods have been proposed. These methods produce good results when the media contains regions of low interest that can be identified by automatic importance measures. In such cases, content-aware operators are likely to yield better results than scaling or cropping, which are oblivious to the media content. Each content-aware method has its strengths and weaknesses, and in some cases serious artifacts are created in the results. How would we know which operator to choose? In this work, instead of searching for the best operator that will work in all cases, we propose a framework for resizing images and video by optimally combining multiple retargeting operators. We present a new order-preserving image-to-image similarity measure called bidirectional warping and devise a dynamic programming algorithm that finds the optimal sequence of operators to maximize the similarity. Our approach is supported by a user study on a variety of images of different nature taken by 50 participants. Users were asked to achieve the best retargeting result for a given size by using a combination of three operators, seam carving, cropping, and scaling. They could choose any balance of the three, including using just one or just two operators. In almost all cases in all images, users chose to apply a mixture of the three operators. It seems that combining several operators together can provide better and richer results. Hence, our main goal is to find a method for combining multiple operators. To formulate this problem, we define the resizing space as a multidimensional space where each axis represents one resizing operator in a specific direction, width or height. Different combinations of operators and direction can be used to define the space. For example, using three operators in two directions creates a six-dimensional resizing space. The path in resizing space represents an ordered sequence of operations applied to the media during the retargeting process. Different results can be achieved using different operator paths. For a given image and target size, the multi-operator retargeting problem can thus be defined as finding the path that produces a retargeted image which is most similar to the original image. We propose a novel similarity measure based on a bidirectional order-preserving mapping between the retargeted image and its source. We use a variation of the dynamic time warping algorithm to efficiently calculate the optimal mapping for each row or column in the images. Our algorithm supports multiple patch scales to better capture spatial information and structural changes in the media. Further details on bidirectional warping can be found in the paper. Given our similarity measure and under some assumptions, the optimal path in an n-dimensional resizing space can be found using dynamic programming. For example, consider the case of searching for the best retargeted result of an image using two operators. We constructively advance towards the final size by storing in each step the cost of the operator that best preserves the image. Finally, we backtrack from the least cost result and apply the operators of the path on the image. We show results on various types of multi-operator optimizations. In these examples, we find the optimal transition point in a regular sequence using seam carving followed by scaling. These examples show the results of an optimal mix path combining seam carving and scaling interchangeably. On the bottom is a visualization of the search space and the resulting optimal path. In these examples, seam carving, cropping, and scaling are combined in a regular manner. The position of the optimal results are marked on the search space. Here we show a comparison of the optimization results versus the mean user study results that were achieved interactively. The position of the two results are also marked on the search space. Here we show a result of an optimal mix path of three operators. Our method also extends to videos. However, a given operator sequence that is optimal for some parts of the video may not be optimal in other parts. Therefore, we retarget keyframes separately and interpolate the multi-operator sequences in between. Thank you for your attention.